What's the deal, y'all? We're Sharper Tapping in TNN Trap News Network, and we back in action with another reaction video. Y'all know the deal, man. Y'all know the deal. We are out. We are out. We are out. Make sure you pull up on this. We are pulling up on y'all. Make sure you subscribe, though. Hit that subscribe button. Become a part of this rich Trapper Mafia. That's right. Become a part of this rich Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell right there at the top. Hit all. Stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest of what we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. News you can use, knowledge you can't get in college. Find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper, Game 6. Rich Trapper, worth more than money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. My two singles, Start From Scratch and The Nightmare Before Christmas, are both out now. Plus my newest song, I'm sorry, my newest EP, I'm Still Better Off Without You, is also out now on all streaming platforms. Make sure you go get that. Make sure you go get that. Uh, find me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R. X, that's Trap News Network, and I appreciate all y'all who are sliding on my DMs on Instagram. I'm going to get to all y'all videos. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a lot of work today. I'm going to do a lot of work today, and I'm clearing out all the DMs from all the videos y'all been sending me, so we finna tap them all today. Um, what else do I be telling y'all? $100. You can win $100. I'll be telling y'all about that. You can win you $100. That's $50 two different ways. Uh, the best comment for the month of February will receive a $50 cash app, as well as a top commenter when we get to 5,000 subscribers will also receive a $50 cash app. So that's $100, two different times, two different ways. And as y'all can see, we got merch available. That's right. We got merch available. So if you need you some of this good merch that we got available, make sure you tap in on us here at TNN Trap News Network because we got these hoodies. As you can see, I got one on right now. So make sure you come get you some of that. But that's enough of the merch. We finna go ahead and get into this content. Uh, somebody sent this to me, and it's interesting because the guy that Wack is sitting next to is T Money. And I'm gonna give y'all an interesting story about T Money because I'm not gonna say he told on me to the police, but he did some tattle telling when it came to me. So it's interesting that he's talking about Big Sad because T Money is a buster. With that being said, we finna go. I said it. I said it. And you know you a buster, and you know how you told on me, you weirdo. But it's all good though. It's it's crazy what these what these dudes would do for females off Clubhouse. Wild. But either way it go though. Three, two, one. Let's jump into it. Video. Yeah. I wanted to participate in a big, sad <laughs> video. And um, what got my attention is the McDonald's he was eating. Why do everybody that tell eat McDonald's in interrogation? I don't know. Why did you eat uh, McDonald's in the interrogation room? CS2 back. I don't know. CS2 back. Why, why do you eat McDonald's? Why is Christopher Lovejoy eating McDonald's? I don't know. Y'all the two biggest snitches walking around, but let's keep going. <laughs> I mean, they don't give you a whole lot of options, right? When and to give y'all a reference, um, I ain't gonna, I ain't no rat, so I ain't gonna say where T Money from, but he gonna, I'm imagining he gonna say where he from, but he's uh, oppositions with Big Sad. You feel me? But I also say this too, bro. I know for a fact T Money got to be over or over 45, bro. T Money old. T Money old. Like could be somebody grandparents. So you on Instagram or. YouTube or Adam22 doing all this, bro, you weirdo, bro. But you the same weirdo. I'm going to tell y'all the story. Don't trip. T-Money being a weirdo, so it's cool. Like if you're at the police station. Bro, I don't know. I just I just. If saw. it's a Burger King across the street, they're probably just getting you Burger King, right? So did you watch the video? Of him talking? Yeah, but I almost saw like a two-minute clip. How long was the full thing? I don't know. Shit, it was probably about, I don't know. The full thing is actually like 20 minutes, 20 to 30 we minutes. We only let out about five minutes. We only let about like three or four minutes. Okay. Yeah. Um, we only let about about three or four minutes, but you sit next to a confidential confidential informant. And let, let's see, let's see. I'm going to tell y'all this quick story about me and T-Money real quick before y'all go into it. And y'all let me know if T-Money's a snitch or not. Either way I go, he didn't tell me to the police. He didn't tell me to the police. But we was on Clubhouse. I had a little situation. It's back in the day during COVID. Woo -woo. I had a little situation. This little bust down. I was busting down. And the bust down got out of pocket. And she tried to go crazy on Clubhouse. So I, 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 I back at her. And yeah, I called her a B. Wookie bam. T-Money come with the Captain save a hoe. Dun, 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 dun. Come with the Captain save a hoe. Oh, he called me a B. And blah, blah, blah. And T-Money, uh, it's okay, baby. Don't fear about it. Blah, blah. I don't, you can have a hoe. You can have a hoe, bro. I don't need her no more. You can have her, bro. I put her on a curb. You can pick up, you can pick up my trash, trash, man. You can have her. Um, but that wasn't enough for T-Money. You feel me? T-Money don't like how, how I speak and all this kind of stuff because he fake woke and fake uh, trying to be super save a whole Captain Nice guy and all that. So what this man decided to do was record one of my conversations on Clubhouse and send it to one of the people who I was dealing with at the time that was an industry executive. And the industry executive who ended up being a hoe, I, I, you're a hoe too, but at the time he wasn't a hoe. He just hit me and was like, hey, you know T-Money? And I was like, yeah. He goes, oh, be careful because he's recording your conversations on Clubhouse and he just sent me this. So be careful what you say about, bro. You never know. Niggas be acting weird. And it's crazy because the dude you snitched on me to ended 
ended up calling you a weirdo. We smoked the blunt and laughed at you for like 45 minutes, but bro's a weirdo because he still deals with you. So he was just talking about you behind your back. And I'm the only one that stayed on business and said both you old ass N-I-G-G-A's was weirdos. But with that all being said, y'all let me know if that's snitching. T Money decided to record my conversation and send it to somebody else on some you shouldn't do business with him, blah, blah, blah type ish. Bro, you're a weirdo. And on top of that, go spin for your dead homie who you know his killer walked around and you ain't did nothing. We ain't going to talk too deep into that because, again, that's telling somebody politics and all that. But you got a lot to say when your homie, your homie killer is still walking around this mother. You ain't, you ain't did not a thing about it. But that's cool. Because that's cool. <laughs> legal team could not give us everything at the time because he was sending a lot of different numbers and addresses so they couldn't they had he was to sending other people out he was telling tell whack shut up and let 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 your other telling homie tell and tell they have to redact um the addresses and numbers before he's a real tattle teller the full 2030 you're a real federal informant cs2 back atl mm -hmm. T Money's a real tattleteller. Now I ain't gonna call you a snitch because it wasn't no police involved, but you a tattletale for sure, big dog. And the irony of you talking about somebody else being a tattletale when I'm the one you tattle told on. Wild, big dog. Wild. And keep in mind, T Money gotta be 15 to 20 years older than me. All this behind a chick who I didn't even want that was three years younger than me? You're 15 to 20 years older than me? And you can had a wild, big dog. You you dudes, man. You got to stop being so soft behind the soft, T-Money. That's weird, bro. Oh, yeah. Tell her. How'd you guys get this? Because it's uh, like a recording of a fucking screen, right? If, yeah, yeah. Well, well, listen, man. It's, we have legal teams, paralegal teams of that sort. And you know. Well, yeah, you're a federal informant. And if you have a paralegal team, how is Snitch Honey calling a, uh, calling a lawyer's office and being directed straight to the lawyer, not talking to a paralegal or a receptionist? It's not making sense. It's a lot of sense not being made here, but it's cool. It's cool. Well, uh, you, you fucking with whack? I got reach. When you fucking with my team, we got reached. So, you know, anything, we ain't going to put that on nobody. We didn't do nothing illegal to get it. We just went through the proper channels to obtain the proper paperwork and, the, you know, the proper information. Um, you know, people were saying false things about K-Swiss, the gentleman that was convicted. He was only... So K-Swiss and T-Money are homies, so make sure that, uh, you know, keep that in the back of your mind, too. Convicted because of the fucking description of the car. Yeah. The other witness, they... Do her testimony out because she had now what we not doing, let's make this clear. I ain't going to bat for a uh, big sag. That was telling. I call him calling a spade a spade. That was telling. You sat in that office and you gave dates, time, and locations. That's telling. Now, what's the degree of telling? That's for you and your homies to decide. But if I'm keeping it black and white, you was telling. But we're not going to gate the fact that Officer Rat Run Honey, CS2 back, you be telling. We're not going to gate the fact that T Money, Mr. Recording Clubhouse Conversation, sending in the people saying, don't deal with Rich Trapper and blah, blah, blah. That's telling. That's, that's telling. You feel me? So, three snitches in a pot? Well, I can't call too money a snitch because it ain't no police involved. Three tattletales and a three tattletales and a toddler. You feel me? Mental history. Yeah. And he had went and rented a a gray vehicle SUV. So he was convicted because a notable gang member, Big Sad, um, gave him the description. And it's telling. But you know what? How about all the main streets that got convicted and why Dell Dog wasn't trying to deal with you because he knew that you was a rat? What about that? T-Money, what about you trying to come between me and my chili and what I got going on because you over here recording conversations and trying to send them to people thinking that, that, that you could destroy me and all kind of weirdo stuff like that. Is that telling? Hmm. Interesting. So, you know, I, I don't get what the street... It's crazy how these guys under six feet always got a lot to say. It, it must be real iffy and, and, and itchy down there. You feel me? Down there at the five foot eight and below club, y'all got a lot going on, bro. Y'all got to calm down, little people. Just relax, little guy. Like, there's no... There's no, um, <clears throat> you know, it's crazy. If y'all been knowing this for 14, 15 years, why ain't nobody went and did nothing to Big Sad? Why bro still in his hood? Now, I ain't saying he ain't too. Told. You gave a description of the car. You told what your homie saying, y'all. You told the Wookiee Bam and the Woo Wop. You told. How it went and led to a conviction? Not my business. But that video clearly showed you telling. We're not going to play that. But why you ain't did nothing? Hmm. Interesting. I only told because of this. Told because you told. Right? You know, the exposures are hard at work. You know, I had a new movement called The Exposures. Mm -hmm. We're exposing yeah, shit. We, know. we don't want nothing to happen. Exposing is also another word for telling. It's another word for telling. And I didn't make this up. Siri, define exposing. Expose me. Define expose. 
Which word? E. E. Expose means make something visible by uncovering it. Do you want to hear the next one? Yes. It means reveal the true, objectionable nature of someone or something. Do you want to hear the last one? Yes. It means subject photographic film to light when operating a camera. Well, what we know we're not talking about is cameras. So the first two said to reveal or share the truth, i.e. tell. That's telling. Exposing is telling. So by definition, it's cool. To you, we just want to laugh at you. You know, get a few clicks, few views, few likes, dislikes, some comments. You know what I mean? Uh, a few more followers on the 100 side of Clubhouse, the, the WAC 100 Instagram. And we want to shed light to those people that may be doing business. And let me tell you who appreciates me. Imagine the guy or the people that's doing business with these people. Because they're so that's the same weirdo thing that T-Money tried to say when he snitched on me. You know what I'm saying? My bad, y'all. I kicked it this time. That time it wasn't the ghost. That time I kicked it. Um, that's the same thing T-Money was like, well, you doing business with him and blah, blah, blah. And da, 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 da. Now, come to find out, bro, ended up being a 304 too. But I continued to get a lot of chili out of that situation for a couple years before bro's wholeness came out. Besides the fact T-Money tried to do some little weirdo. Oh, I'm going to make sure you know who you're talking to. Bro, you hoish. You're hoish. You're hoish. And you know it. You feel me? You a grown man acting like a 304 So called official. They're official. And Wack exposes the day before some shit's supposed to happen that did. Why come, how come Wack ain't never, uh, not why come, words are hard. How come Wack ain't never exposed Snitch trying to reveal a uh, sealed paperwork? What happened to Wack saying he wasn't going to deal with Snitch Hunter until he uh, exposed his paperwork? What happened to that? This dude is a rat. I bet that guy's not mad at me. What was about to happen? You never know. People out here doing all kind of shit. You know, because they think a guy's real and right. So you're bragging that you cut off a business opportunity for Big Sad from happening. No, I'm 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 not bragging. I'm saying. Isn't it crazy that I just said T Money tried to do the exact same thing to me, and that's what Wack is doing, which is all overall telling. It's telling. This is the definition of telling. You're trying to make it seem like it's not because it's not a street involved situation, but telling is telling. A snitch is a snitch is a rat is a rat is a tattletale is a tattletale is a snitch is a rat is a rat is a snitch. Come on now. To those people in the world that do business that is supposed to be in the dark, bro, I threw you a bone and lighten you on some shit. You know, if I'm out here doing some things, I don't want to do things with nobody that ain't right. It's just real, bro. Bro, you are CS2 back. In the federal paperwork, Snitch Hunnett has his sealed paperwork. Un you you ain't never got it unsealed, and you hang out with him. And you're sitting next to the guy who tattle told on me. Me. This guy, this guy right here. It's not a fictitious story. This really happened. You feel me? This is crazy. Because, see, watch this. This shit like 12, 13 years old, 10 years, some shit like that, right? This was scary. 80% <clears throat> of the shit I get, it'd be like 10 years old or better. Imagine how much cooperating and telling this individual has done. He told once and got away with it. He get caught up in some more shit. He like, shit, it been three years that nobody said nothing. Like how you had the situation with the main streets and why Dell Dog didn't want to deal with you? Okay, got you, got you, got you. Tell again and keep telling and keep telling. So you're saying you got more of this? Uh, You know, we just let out what we needed to let as out. As far as with him? Yeah. No, he, he, he told, he... He gave a description of the car, man. So, at the end of the day, our whole thing was, what he did was... I love how they keep saying, our, 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 we, 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 we. When a grown man gonna stand on his own too and say, I said this. Like, I said, rat right, is a CS2 back snitch. He a federal informant. Like, I said, snitch hunter ain't gonna never show his paperwork. Like, I said, T-Money be recording phone calls and sending them off to people trying to get deals cut off because that's still, that's, you know what? That might not be street snitching, but that's industry snitching. It's snitching, it's snitching, and it still show your title telling ass character. I said it. We didn't say nothing. You feel me? Why y'all grown men? And it's crazy because these grown men be 15 and 20 years older than us young dudes. Why y'all said this example? This is who it is. And there's some real G's in my comment because I didn't highlight a few of them, man. Shout out to all the real G's in my comment. I done had some cold conversations with some dudes who done did some real things in my comments, man. So sal salute to them and shout out to them. But as far as public figures, kids, you don't want to look up to these dudes. Man, there's some real G's in my comments. Go ahead and read back through them, man. There's a lot of real conversations in there. Kids, you don't want to grow up to be like these busters right here. These is the old lames we be talking about. So when I say old lames, I ain't talking about the real ones. I ain't got no, no disrespect to the OGs. To all the real G's who put in some work, who been 
doing this before I even was even there. Before I was even a thought and a twinkle in my daddy's nuts. I got nothing but love and respect for y'all. But these two right here, nah, they're not real G's. On a real nigga scale of one to ten, use a zero, big dog. Two zeros. Double O zero. No, but, um, I think it was a petition or whatever the case may be the appeal. It said that my homeboy said that the Playboy gangster. And I will say this, Big Sad, you told. You told. That was telling. We're not going to negate the fact. We're not going to negate the fact. Yeah, what they're weird, but that was a lot of telling you did, big dog. At the end of the day, our whole thing was, what he did was when, uh, um, I think it was the petition or whatever the case may be, the appeal, it said that my homeboy said that the Playboy Gangsta Crip shot him, right? Which he didn't say anything of the sort. I got first his paperwork too. I got first of all, I got yeah. the paperwork in my bag. I'm gonna show you. So first of all, it was caught on video at Okie Dog when my homeboy got shot. So that's how the police knew who it was because it was all on video. He clearly said that I don't want to testify. I don't recollect of anything happening. So even in the thing that he was trying to put around saying that, like he's he's ranting right now saying he told on me. How can you tell on the victim? You was the victim. First you, of all, fuck it. Let's just play dirty ball. And what I'm saying is allegedly. I don't give a fuck if this man tells OB. That there's no rule in our streets. That man told on me. He ain't told on you, but he told on me for sure. Say, well, if he tell on you, you can tell on him back. But there's, Troy no, asked, there's no rule in the street saying that if the dude that got the girl that you want and then he don't even want her no more, he threw it to the curb, you can slide in and dirty Mac and be on the super saver whole mission, plus record conversations and go back and try to get deals cut off with people's personal friends and all that kind of stuff because you're a rat. There's no rule that say that either. So no rules to none of this, man. If y'all ain't realized by now, man, the streets is dead. The streets is dead. You got to look at the person's moral fabric in whatever situation they're in. How they act at work is how they probably going to act at the house when it comes to moral character. Meaning, if you're the kind of person at work that's sitting around watching what everybody else is doing, and you walking around going to the manager and you saying, well, so-and-so did this, so-and-so didn't do that, so-and-so clocked in late, so-and-so clocked in and stealing hours and all that kind of stuff, you're still a snitch. You're the same type of person that would tell if we got hit up in a lick. You're the same kind of person that would tell if we got hit up in a situation and the cops is on this. A snitch is a snitch is a right is a right. If you a lie, you would cheat. If you would cheat, you a lie. You feel me? If you lie, you would cheat. If you cheat, you would steal. It is what it is. It don't matter what the case is. You feel me? Period, point blank. Now, everything come in the color and in this circumstances to everything when you put them in the color. But when we talking in a black and white scenario, if you a snitch on your coworker at work, you will point somebody out on the, on, the, on the stand in the courtroom. Period, bro. You can't tell me otherwise. Because in my heart, that's a fabric and a character of who the person is. Now, y'all could think otherwise. I'm not here to say you right and you wrong. But in my heart, if you would tell on somebody at work, you would tell on somebody in the stands. Get it. The streets is a myth. And then a lot of he's running, a lot of people were saying like, oh, he could have been given a description of the wrong car. Okay, well, uh, co how would you call it? Coincidentally, you gave a description of the of right car, of, the whole, of my homeboy car. So if you was given the description of okay, well yeah, yeah, that's that's snitching, that's snitching. If you describe the homie car, that's snitching, that's snitching. But if you record the conversation and send it to somebody, that's snitching too. And if you got sealed paperwork, that's probably because you snitching too. And if you're CS2 back federal informant, it's because you're snitching too. So yeah, whatever. The wrong car, you fucked up and gave him the description of my homeboy car that got him booked. No, you heard what he said. Jail. He said, I see the car. I see the shooter. I no, but you know, you got you got people in the comments saying that um okay. that he could have been given the description. And keep in mind too, like these dudes gotta be like 15 to 20 years older than Big Sad. Gotta be. This is what the OGs are doing. These are the OGs. Can some real OGs leave comments below? Let me know, man. Let me know something. I'm open for all the guidance and the wisdom of the real OGs, but I can't see these two being a representative for the real OGs. I can't. Not these two. In the wrong car. I'm going to show you something so you can see it with your own eyes. I got everything. I went and got cross-examined. Everything. So are you with the exposers? I'm not with nothing. I'm with <laughs> well, That's a lot. Um, You thought he was the, the hottest rapper in L.A.? I'm, I'll, I'll stand on that. Right, hold on. I got a chapter repeat on. There you go. Put your blank papers in there. This is what you call paperwork party. Look at this shit. Look at the kind of shit. Look at this shit. <laughs> That's how the police knew. Look at this shit. It's crazy to take all this on no jumper and not take it to the streets to actually do something. 
So that 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 goes to show. Now again, big snatch, you, you're a snitch. You're a snitch. You're a rat. You're a tattletale. You, you're with all the skullduggery, all the flu flammery, all the larceny, all the flu flammery, all that blah blah. You're a rat. Let's never take that away. Let's never take that away. These dudes right here are so gangster that they took it on these two right here. So gangster. They took it on no jumper and didn't take it to the streets. I'm gonna embarrass you. I'm gonna expose you. You're telling right now. Right now, you're literally telling. You're literally telling. You're literally telling. Exposing is telling. Pulling up paperwork and all that kind of stuff in a public platform is telling. Now, if you podcasters and all that, cool. Do your business. If you just, if you just, um, as I know, T Money is a little wet behind the ears. You feel me? You ain't really. Mm -mm -mm. That's all you know how to do is. Well, I'm gonna expose you and try to destroy you and blah blah blah. That's what you do. You feel me? I get it because jumping big is too big for you to big. You feel me? Jumping big is too big for you to big. You feel me? It's all good though. This right here, corn, corn. Big sad, you're a title too. This still don't make this no less corn. Corn, corn. Whoa, this thing is shit. What are you doing? <laughs> Big sad. This is some sad shit. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> this thing is pinpointing. He, he pointing out. <laughs> Exhibit one, this is the color corn. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? This is a real paperwork party. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, this shit is wild. So I did not so plan this. Party. This is not how so look, I would look, choose look, to look, use look my platform. Look, look at this. So look. So <laughs> this is what I get for doing no, a show with this look, crazy look, fuck. Look. So from the so from the so from the paper they put out, right? Okay. Of uh, the um appeal or whatever, which was in the hospital, they said he was in the hospital. So clearly say cool. in that paper that he said the Playboys he said the Playboys um shot him but he didn't want to cooperate this is from the hospital what do that say um he has no recollection of the event states that a fight broke out and is not aware of now who i will shout out is whoever that man is in that paperwork that didn't tell who don't have no recollection or nothing salute you big dog I'm not condoning no type of spinning, pull-ups, pop-outs, walk-downs, walk-through, drive-bys, walk-ups, top of, uh, opposite stopping, stopping, opposite stepping, standing on bins. I'm not condoning none of that. But if you're going to do it, do it like that guy. That's all I'm going to say. Salute to him. He's the most solid person in this entire situation, the dude who got shot and didn't tell, because you're holding down the standards and the principalities of what you represent, and I can respect that. I don't think personally it's the way you should live your life, and I hope that you're doing well, and I hope that you're doing better, and all that kind of stuff. I hope you got some chili. hope you got your girls, some kids, and you're trying to just out the way, tucked up, living the best life you can, smoking your weed, getting your cheese. That's what I wish on you, big dog. But how you handled that situation, salute it. What happened specifically in a... Uh, specifically, the patient states he was shot once. This is a cross examine. What do that say? He said that he did not wish to cooperate and that he would not identify the person who shot him. And what is this footage of him him getting shot? It, so that's how the that's how the police knew the Playboy shot him. Uh huh. Okay. I mean, to me, all I'm seeing is a bunch of pictures of cars and people yeah, with arrows sad, on it. Yeah, that's big sad point shit. Yeah, I so mean, that's, that's what happened. That's the, that's, it was a place called Okie Dog I'll take where my homeboy got shot at. Okay. And that's how we have the, the video, though, also, uh -huh. or whatever the case may be. And that's how they knew that the Playboys did it. Not because the homie told them anything. You see in the paperwork right here. Yeah, he didn't tell. End of the day, this is my thing. Look, all you rappers out there, right? Look, I really think it's enough of them, Adam that they can start their own category of um, rat rappers. Mm. And it's a few big. And you could be the manager of them all, bro. You could actually start Rat Run 100 Records. I don't even want nothing off the big dog. It's a gift for me to you. Rat Run 100 Records. You feel me? Officer Snitch Hunted as a CEO and little Tattletale Toddler sitting next to you can be the CFO and y'all can run Rat Run 100 Records. It's a gift. Don't worry about it, big dog. From me to you. Trap News Network. News you can use. Knowledge you can't get in college. You got it. Once to where they can like... Don't y'all ever say I don't help the less fortunate. Y'all just saw me help out a retarded kid. Look at you, man. Look at me. Pat me on my back. Teacher, because nobody really... The fans don't give a fuck. Right? But that's two times I told y'all months ago he was a rat. Yeah, what do you... He got exposed. Oh, no jumper. Don't wear that shit. No jumper. Put it up. The paperwork I've been told you without no jumper, put the finesse two times rat paperwork up. Right. He told. Now, four or five months ago, 
He Actually, said he's going to put $100,000 on your head. Yeah, six months. No, he told there. And that's a shiny. That's telling right there. But wait, 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 you have to understand that what you're doing right now on camera is snitching because it's the exact same situation using social media to dry snitch. Let's see, though. Hold on. Right. He told. Now, four or five months ago. He actually, said he's going to put $100,000 on your head. Yeah, six months. No, he told there. And that's a shiny ass he head. He snitched in the rap song. <laughs> Wait. Did you hear what he said? What? I drop 100 on whack, and that's mob ties. You bitch ass nigga. So what about every time you've gone on Clubhouse and told a nigga, on oh, Paru, I'm going to do this. On oh, Paru, I had this done to you. On oh, Paru, I get this done to you. On oh, Paru, I'm doing this. You done made threats. You done had criminal threats. You done made terroristic threats. You done did all this kind of stuff. You done threatened to put hands on everybody and all kind of shit. It ain't not, What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Mr. On oh, Paru himself? Like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? I'm going to lose my monetization on this one because this nigga's a fucking idiot. I don't even give a damn. This nigga's a fucking idiot. And if y'all fall for the flu flammery and the larceny and the skullduggery that come out of his fat, weird, two foot, two mouth, you a bigger dummy than him, big dog. People like to say, no, Wack just smart. Wack just smart. Wack is dumb. And only dumb people follow Wack. Wack's actually not smart. It's very transparent. You know what I'm saying? Ray Charles can see this bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. I fuck the monetization for this video. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Ray Charles can see this is bullshit. So if you believe, man, Wax dumb and he playing chess, dumb motherfucker, you ain't never played checkers. That's all I got to say. Why are you telling <laughs> who, who's putting the hundred up? Mm. Everybody know what Mob Ties is. Everybody know me and Jay Prince had a little spat. You telling in a rap song. Do you think... You just told right now, because I would have never even thought about Jay Prince and none of this type of shit. You're telling. You're telling right now, because I never even thought of Jay Prince throughout this whole shit. When that nigga said mob ties, I'm thinking he's talking about some little click or some shit he got, because everybody say that shit. I never thought of Jay Prince and all this type of shit. So, man, get the fuck out of here, bro. Close the front door. Shut the French toast. A hundred thousand on your head is fair, or do you think that you're worthy of what, like a half a million, a million? Get in line. Hmm. It's what it is. Oh, I really? mean, I feel like niggas been trying to kill me all my life. I haven't heard of anyone ever trying to kill you. Well, you ain't been around, Adam. You's a new <laughs> motherfucker. You ain't from our jungle. <laughs> motherfucker, they tried to kill me a whole bunch of times. All of us. Oh, just word? the life we live. Oh shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what it feels like to be sitting there having a conversation and then a motherfucking Uzi or AR just is riddling around you. You know what I'm saying? You know, to be at the light, motherfucker, just get out. You know, back in the days, we didn't have cameras. Broad daylight intersection shooters was normal. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what that was. Like, and you never been hit? No, I never been. I had a whole bunch of motherfuckers around me hit. That's good. Buried a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but once again, I was never one to cater to crowds. I've always played it back. I've saved a lot of my people being hit because I see it coming. They drinking, shooting nights, fucking with a broad. I didn't care about none of that. I'm watching that car. What's that? And when I see people moving, it's been a many a times where I didn't got out and my homies thought they was getting got out on, but it was me get, keeping some motherfuckers off of it. So I've always been a, in a, a defensive type of person. You love being a problem solver. Huh? I was just finna fucking say that. I was just finna fucking say that. Whack make himself the hero in every story. And Adam Weird Ass just called it out. And my homies thought they was getting got out on, but it was me Get keeping some motherfuckers off of it. So I've always been a, in a, a defensive type of person. You love being a problem solver. Huh? Yeah, well, what do you mean? I had to do it all my you're life. You're a fixer. I'm not white. I'm not like you, bro. Race play. No, like I have problems all my life. You don't. You grew up in New Hampshire, nice home, green grass, pool in the back, white picket fence. That no pool. Shit. No pool. You know, the worst thing you was doing as a child <laughs> was in the shower sticking your own thumb up your ass. You said that shit. I think it was my middle finger. Yeah, we okay. <laughs> we in a motherfucking shower worrying about this house getting shot the fuck up. Right, no, that's terrible. My condolences. <laughs> you never really introduced him. All right, so this we is this video, man. That's that right there. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Shout out to the homie that sent me this video and all that kind of stuff. I say this too to the homie that sent me this video. You a weirdo too because don't let them know I sent it because I don't want them to know it's me because you still be faking ha ha he he in the niggas faces. So you my friend.
are a weirdo and a loser too. But with that being said, Rich Trapper signing out. Teen and Trap News Network. News you can use, knowledge you can get in college. Hit that subscribe button though. Become a part of this Rich Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell right there at the top. Hit all. Stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest of what we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Make sure you find me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T-R-A-P-N-E-W-S-N-E-T-W-O-R-X. Follow me on all streaming platforms, Rich Trapper, Game 6. Rich Trapper, worth more than money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. My two singles, Start From Scratch and A Nightmare Before Christmas, are both out now, as well as my newest project. Uh, I'm still better off without you. Damn, it's raining. My phone just let me know that. Um... I'm still I'm better off without you. I'm still better off without you. New project out now. Make sure y'all go get into that. You feel me? You trying to figure out how to win $100? That's $50 two different ways. Hit that red dot and slide it to the left. It's all broken down for you in the beginning of the video. How you can get you some good chili. Good chili. And we'll bite here to the next one, man. Free Avenue Angel until he's free. And we gone.